Free.
I am so glad that this song just came up. <laughs> I'm still setting up capture card. Okay guys, it's time. Uh, I think I have all my settings here. Give me a second. This might be an unsupported mode. Figure this out really quick.
I actually have to find the game, too. <laughs> Get there. Sitting next to police knots in my drawer, no less. Is there anything I should be- oh, well, too late. I don't know if there's anything I should be doing on the BIOS to reconfig, like, faster read speed or whatever, but here we go. Next to my diamond- next to my diamond-plated Nintendo World Champions cartridge. <laughs> Humble brag. Yeah, fucking- what you gonna do about it? We just keep this music going. What capture method do I use? It's a fucking fifteen dollar uh, 1080p USB 3.0 capture card from Amazon. Yeah, I know my music is still active. I'm just wondering if I should just keep it on. Link you? You want me to link you? Okay. But what are, we, what are we thinking? Should I... Should I just, uh, keep the music going? With my, with my little... With my MGS stuff? I feel like it's fun. Auditorially, it gets busy. Well, I can I can mute MGS and just um. Yeah. Did you want? Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will def. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. I think it sucks. Yeah, let's do a Discord call. Uh, I'll shut off the music. Let me just get this cropping shit figured out really quick. Do I want the strong vibrations? I don't know. Brightness seem okay to you? Also, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to link you up. I'm a calling. I'm just gonna call. I'm just gonna do a cold call on Mr. Addison here.
I think I started the call too early. <laughs> oh, there he is. There we go. There you go. Bring, let me bring you up here as a little PNG friend. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a PNG friend. <laughs> my been my hope and dream to always be a, a flashing PNG who talks to people <laughs> on the screen. I've always wanted to be a hazard to epileptics. <laughs> You know, they always told me in school I wouldn't be, and, uh... Not yeah. that you should always live your life by spite, governed by spite, but look at where we are now. They, they have advised you. Look at where their advisement took them. Big, the big man. The big boss. Yeah, putting the big in big boss. <laughs> I kind of want to do like a dramatic reading of the of the recaps. Are you, are you down for that? Uh, is there a way that I can view them live? Because I have Twitch pulled up on my laptop, but there's like a oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I can I can pull up the capture card really quick for you. Let me. Oh shit. Let me get that capture card for you. By the way, let me let me get the link to that. Brightness on this image seems a little dim on stream, but it's not on my television. Yeah, no, this is, uh... This game for capture is a color correction nightmare. Huh. Well, I was just trying to color correct my, my capture card in general. Well, so... Good. Oh, well, <laughs> you're, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, because those like those greens and blues and teals need to be like piercing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Word God, I'm having flashbacks to two thing. weeks ago. A little bit too bright, because if you see caption in the middle of the screen, it's like invisible. <laughs> yeah, like in the in, in Ooh, the how's text that? box. How's that? That's perfect. Hell yeah! That's a perfect marriage. I'm married! <laughs> to the option okay. screen. Let me give you capture devices. Hopefully that's gonna work. Maybe not. Uh... Or I can just, I can just hook you up with the the OBS screen straight up. How about I do that? Dealer's choice. Get a get a full screen projecty boy on there. Projecty boy. Watch stream. You know I will. That good? <clears throat> you see that? Yep. Yeah, it's uh, at a decent fidelity too. Hooray! So glad to have you in the digital dojo today. Uh, won't be the last time. Okay. Sorry if I seem a little you... bit stern. I was actually uh, I was just holding my breath before I showed up. I was doing uh. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it's the vibration. So this is weak, by the way. Oh. <laughs> and I think my, my strong motor is not working. So, uh... I don't want to know what strong is like. I was upset and I wasn't going to call you on it, but I thought it was a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 I mean, you were correct. I was like... <laughs> you were absolutely I was gonna right. be... I was, I was debating, you know, it's like you have those things where it's like, no, it's that's that's too crass yeah. for my introduction because I was going to be like, all right, hide your Korean BBW folders when you give me screen share and your bank account information. I was like, no, that's too tacky. And then, and then all I hear is weed whacker.
<laughs> and it made me wonder things, and I'm like, oh. It wasn't me who broke the ice. Like, I broke the capture card. <laughs> Never mind, in fact, don't fucking give me that link. Don't fucking give it to you, yeah. Well, it was uh, working a second ago. I waste my fucking time. I'm wasting your time. It wasn't, uh... Well, it wasn't a piece of shit till it was. Yeah, it's true. It was working great. Aww. Oh, shit. That's what, that's what I need to be doing. I need to be, uh... Also, let me know if my, uh... Because you're on my inline microphone. I'm okay. standing up doing shit. So if it slams against my chest too much and that's just obnoxious, let me know. It, it, like, literally, it was working a second ago, wasn't it? <clears throat> well, I'm looking at your mouse cursor gently jiggling. Now, but, like, now the video is totally stuck on stream, too. So... Yeah, I think you, you may be asking too much of the program. I've noticed that uh, OBS... If I have a HDMI cable plugged into my laptop, it doesn't want to play nice. With um... I do not have an HDMI plugged into my laptop. It's a USB cable. Oh no, I'm just saying like variables. Like sometimes it may, it, like with Discord screen sharing, it may not want to fuck with both at the same oh, time. Oh 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 yeah. oh 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 oh. <laughs> I also feel like, uh... Hmm. While I was getting some B-roll today, I was playing with a, uh, different controllers from different eras of PlayStation controller production, and, like, man, dude, before the DualShock, before they introduced, like, those two, uh, vibrating motors and the handles... Yeah. I realized that, like, maybe I just need to play with vibration off, because when you get detected, it throttles your hands. That's true. And I realized that how much like less stressed I was when I didn't have the controller vibrating in VR missions every 30 seconds. <laughs> oh man, am I going to have to reset the stream? Or maybe, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Jesus, parallel Let's parking Christ. Plug, unplug, plug back in. Capture card is back in now. Did you try turning it off and turning it back on again? That's exactly what I'm doing. Hee <laughs> hee. Might try a different USB plug as well. <laughs> Help me! Oh god. There we go. Yeah, we have movement. Customize this. There. <laughs> the cropping of the borders live is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> was like, there was like a tenth of a second where you look like the RE2 box art where half your head was obscured. Yeah. And I couldn't fuck with it. Your video I do last time. That's good? What? I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now, the ultimate test is if this is going to work in a windowed projector for you on Discord. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, fuck. <laughs> I'm doing shit, and then I realize I'm doing shit. It's time to double up on the Adderall. Shit, wait, fuck. Does that work? 
Are we good? Uh, yeah, I'm in the Discord chat, but it's like zoomed in. Oh. Significantly. You mean the the video feed itself? Okay, so the Twitch feed is fine. Let me screen cap and then let me show you what I'm seeing. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's a fucking comedy of errors, my dude. If you just want to hop in. <laughs> Okay, don't send a tit. There we go. Oh yeah, I see that. Okay. What if I just leave it? So you're just seeing Discord chat, but zoomed in. Yeah. I can see like eight tenths of a message I sent you. However long ago. <laughs> If I just... Oh. How's that? Yeah. Yay! Let's go. So now <sighs> that the audience has died of old age. Yes. That's fine. I'm cool with it. I'm just chilling. I'm playing a game. Okay? This is for gamers only. G-A-Y-mers. Are we really gonna dramatic read this shit? Well, that's that's up to you, babe. It's your stream. I want to. Okay, do you want to start? The year, 1995. Deep in South Africa, 200 kilometers north of Garsberg. Outer Heaven. An armed fortress nation established by the legendary mercenary. He was feared in combat by both his friends and foes as a heroic... As a hero and a lunatic, uh, the Western nations have found out that a weapon of mass destruction, capable of rewriting war history, is underdeveloped. Jesus Christ, that, that shouldn't be this bad at cold reading my mother language. Is under development <laughs> at outer heaven. Uh, they have called upon the high tech special force unit Foxhound to take care of the situation. In response, in response to this order. Big Boss, Commander-in-Chief of Foxhound, sent Grey Fox, the man with the codename Fox, which was given to the best member of the unit. Operation Intrude, N313. My turn. Take over while I get this peanut butter out of my fucking mouth. After a few days, his last message being Metal Gear, Grey Fox was missing in action. Taking the situation it. seriously, the top men at, of the West again called for Foxhound. The Big Boss selected Solid Snake, who has just recently joined Foxhound, as the agent and entrusting, as the agent and entrusted everything to him. It's really awkwardly... Uh, uh, successfully making a solo infiltration to Outer Heaven, Snake got in touch with local resistance members Schneider, Diane, and Jennifer. With their cooperation, Snake succeeded in rescuing Gray Fox. Gray Fox then laid out the terrifying facts about Metal Gear. Metal Gear was the development name of a nuclear warhead-equipped two-legged walking tank. It can walk through even the roughest terrains that would stop normal tanks. It can conduct local warfare by itself with unique weapons like its Vulcan cannon and air tank missiles. It was indeed a new can type of weapon that can conduct a nuclear attack against any place on the face of the Earth from any land surface. Local warfare. It's, it's really good at the mosh pit. It's a fucking <laughs> yeah. terror. Yo, this guy... Wait till you get him on the dance floor. He's just gonna, he's just gonna explode. Yeah, no, like the fucking crowd splits, and in between, like the Red <laughs> Sea parted. It's just like a Metal Gear that's just like dude height. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the Jays. little Metal Gear from Snatcher. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, the fucking two piece Sega CD combo. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, okay. Ah, uh, uh, with Metal Gear. Outer Heaven was trying to establish some military superiority over the entire world. In order to destroy Metal Gear, Snake rescued Metal Gear's chief engineer, Dr. Petrovic, and his daughter, Ellen? I've never heard that said aloud. Anyway, uh, who was taken hostage to force her father to continue with his development. Snake hears from Dr. Petrovic how to destroy Metal Gear. However, as Snake approached the Heart of Outer Heaven and Metal Gear. Well-designed traps are set all around. Uh, Snake 
as if all his actions are being leaked to the enemy in the midst of an escalating battle. Uh, the leader of the resistance, hold her tighter, she's a fighter, Snyder, fell into the <laughs> hands of the enemy. Uh, Snake himself was injured uh, through deadly battles with Outer Heaven's best mercenaries. Uh, but his indomitable spirit led him to the 100th floor basement. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> that's uh, so really... You think about that that's shit. That's so excessive. Yeah, it's like that, that's like Journey to the Center of the Earth. Shit. Yeah, it's like, dude, I totally. I never get, thought like, about that. It's just like, I mean, in the game, it's like, holy shit, like when you're playing Metal Gear, you know? Yeah, it's like it, this it, really big moment. Then, like reading it, it's like, what? That is this is insane. <laughs> and it's it's one of those things where it's like, you know how like different eras of comic books are like more cartoonish than others. And like, yeah. I like to think of like 1980s Japanese video games compared to like 90s video games. Because mm -hmm. like, look at, I, I just I look at like Metal Gear and Metal Gear Two Solid Snake, and like I consider them like 70s hip hop where they're kind of novelty music. And then you get to Solid, and it's like serious. Like you can actually fuck with it. I love Metal Gear Two. I think Metal Gear Two yeah, might Metal be Gear... my favorite entry. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So before I get into it, let's actually read because I'll get. <laughs> I'll get into the minutia. Okay. Uh, oh, fuck. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay, because, like, my inline microphone hit my tit, and then it made a noise in my ear, and I got scared. I think you're all good. You're all Gucci. Okay. Uh, should I? I'll continue. Hundredth floor, I'm sorry, the 100th floor basement really fucked my shit. Uh, it really, oh, I mean, it, it, it rattled my bones, my bones, too. Uh, evading the powerful defense system to wipe out its intruders. So the fucking laser hallway from Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah. Just, anyway, keep going. I'm gonna, I'm getting. Sure. Ludicrous. Snake ultimately succeeded in destroying Metal Gear. Snake tried to escape from Outer Heaven upon completing a mission. The mission. Not any mission. Just my mission. Just, you know, that 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 mission. That one that we're talking about. Just you know. However, during the escape, he was confronted by one man. Foxhound, Commander-in-Chief, Big Boss. Big Boss laughed at the astounded snake, ha ha ha, and told him of the truth about his mission. While serving as the Commander-in-Chief of Foxhound, Big Boss also ran a mercenary dispatch company, utilizing his connections and capital from his years as a merc. He was planning to build this larger... <laughs> this large corporation, no. This company, a uh, larger... <laughs> He was planning to build this company a large military establishment, and he built Outer Heaven as its base. His purpose for sending the rookie snake to Outer Heaven was to cause information confusion against the West. Information confusion? Why didn't they just write misinformation? It was the year 1998, and, uh... <laughs> I, that, they just needed to make it sound idea. cooler? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Jeremy really... Blaustein... I thought Blaustein did the translation. Maybe over, not for this some... stuff. Well, he, he did, but I mean... From what I understand, the translation ever was kind of like all over the place in spaghetti. Oh. So I think this like this translation got past him. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. Information confusion does sound like a really cool tactic, though. <laughs> That's <laughs> that That does sound like a... Like a mistranslated into English, like punk rock EP, information yeah, yeah. confusion, <laughs> or like an Aphex Twin single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> no, that's Crazy Taxi. <laughs> uh, let's see. How are Big Boss miscalculated? He never thought that Snake would make it this far. Having lost Metal Gear, Big Boss activated the self-destruction system of the <laughs> You're underground base. So fucking base. mean to your son. <laughs> It's like, damn, dude, I didn't think you'd fucking do it. Yeah. While the countdown to destruction continued, his scream echoed in emptiness. You've gone too far. Too far! I'm gonna let you do the finale here. I'm sorry, I saw 100th floor again, and I'm thinking, like, how many floors was the Twin Towers? <laughs> like, that's an inverse Jesus Twin Christ. Tower, dude. So, like, if you have, like, a teeny tiny cave-in on, like, floor 57, you're just yeah. gonna suffocate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, like, okay, on the 100th floor basement, the battle between the two men commenced. 
uh, free of ideology and politics. Wow, so poetic. Well, no, it's not, because, like, this is just a really eloquent way to, get, like, glamorize some white trash living. You get into a fight with your dad over a disagreement about politics. Yeah. That's, that, that's some fucking, that's some Carolina shit. Yeah. Uh, the armed fortress nation outer heaven collapsed. Man, Kojima really had his finger on the pulse of the American family. Uh, the impenetrable <laughs> fortress made from the best military technology and occupied by the toughest mercs burned in flames. Uh, behind him, flames reached skyward as Outer Heaven fell, leaving Solid Snake all alone. And I really hope he gets used to that feeling, because it doesn't change for him. Yeah, well, I mean, really at its heart, this series is about family. <sighs> for better, for worse. What is the, who's the guy in the key? Is that supposed to be Snake? Uh, I didn't get a good look at it before the text, I'd imagine. That looks like a Shinkawa, like, late 90s era depiction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, before yeah. they started using Kurt Russell as the base. Yeah. 1999. The world was facing an energy crisis. It was obvious that the supply of petroleum would be run out... Would, would run... I almost fucked up the bad translation with my own bad... <laughs> it was obvious that the supply of petroleum would run out... I almost did it again. I almost said would two, be run out two faster. Two great tastes that taste great together. <laughs> Fucking illiteracy and translation. Oh. Would run out faster than expected. However, the development of an alternate energy resource is far from completion. The price of petroleum has skyrocketed, and the world economy is in diffusion. Hmm... The 21st century was expected to be one of the chaos. One of the chaos. One of chaos. One man's invention changed the entire situation. A Czech genius and biologist, Dr. Kiyomar, invented Oilix, a microorganism that refines petroleum to produce a highly purified... Purified! Pure form of petroleum, baby! The world was filled with hope upon the discovery. Even gave a little yee-haw of this messiah to solve the energy crisis but at the same time the world oh, entered a <laughs> time of tension regarding this new algae mm. okay oh god you know it's funny because <clears throat> like at the turn of yesterday decade like 2010 thereabouts there was this uh there was modified versions of yeast and e coli that guys were fucking with and it turns out that they would like I, for, I think they would eat E. coli, or, or it was yeast that would eat E. coli and then poop petroleum. So it was this, like, Kojima predicted that shit like a good 20 years almost perfect. Yeah. Uh, and the reason that didn't take off as like a renewable fuel, so fuel source is uh, for that to keep up with American oil consumption, you would need something like the size of Utah or like Arizona, but like touching all of the state borders. <laughs> like, it's just, you'd have to allocate, like, one-fiftieth of the country's landmass to that shit. Kojima's uh, always been on the pulse of, like, popular science and, like, figuring out, yeah. like, like, especially with police knots, there's, like, a whole freaking encyclopedia in there all about space colonies and how they would work. Pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, Zone of the Enders was, uh, was full of that shit, too. And yeah. even though he only had the producer role... Like, producer in Japan means basically you're doing it, too. Yeah. You're basically co-creator. That doesn't mean basically you're putting up the money like it does in the States. Right, right. Oh, God, there was something else. And you and I both know it's like, shit, the end of Sub Sons of Liberty basically predicted our current state. I know. Do you believe everything that your eyes put before you? Hmm. Uh, but just no, as, but I uh, have a good time enjoying it. it. Yeah, that is true. I just like how we're not actually going to get to any, oh, any, yeah. <laughs> to any gameplay. We're actually just going to get, like, a, just mad f philosophical. We'll be yeah. here, like, 9 o'clock at night, still on page 3, and just, like... No! I actually do want to get through through the game. I think okay, I can just do it pretty quickly. Attention yeah. was drawn to Oilix. Dr. Marv, he was abducted by someone and disappeared. Uh, nations began investigations immediately, and, and a name soon appeared. Zanzibar land. I, I feel like the land is a little bit superfluous, but sure. <laughs> no, it's an amusement I'll park. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's too real. 
Uh, <laughs> I like. Oh, dude, do you, you remember the fucking Six Flags guy? The fucking. Uh, <laughs> I like the. He would look like. Yo, he was like they found sticker. the fucking information and they found the guy dancing in front of the Zanzibar land sign and like all these explosions going off. No, but if you put that cunt in a beret and like give him like a cool like facial scar that misses his eye. <laughs> like he looks, he looks like he belongs in '80s Metal Gear. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, 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 fucking Vermin Katafi and Hayarola Kakamami, which is a real fucking dude in fucking Snake's Revenge. Yeah, yeah. And I wish I was lying. Okay, so Zanzibarland, Zanzibarland, uh, was a de democratic military regime uh, that suddenly appeared in Central Asia in 1997. Uh, when their uprising took place, the CIS army. Uh, formed around Russia. <laughs> I'm tr I'm being really good right now. Sent a suppressive unit immediately. Um, yeah, they gave him anti-androgen to suppress <laughs> developmental growth. Okay, Zanzibar. <laughs> God, it, the, the, it, man, it just it writes itself. Okay, resisted by gathering a band of mercs from nations around the world. Wait, were we? And fortifying most it? of its land. Okay. As a result, the cis army was repeat. Wait, fuck. Okay, as, as a result, the CIS army was repeatedly defeated, uh, and Zanzibar Lind, uh, declared its independence due to the active role the mercenaries played. Fucking, the guy who wrote this loves his commas. Uh, this war was called the Mercenary War, uh, and Zanzibar Lind was referred to as an armed fortress nation, a uh, military nation with a group of strong mercs surrounded by a tough fortress. This actually explains uh, the Phantom Pain pretty well. Or, like, it's interesting to know, like, when they filled in the gaps in the Phantom Pain, what all this was in 98 before they actually had it mapped out. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I never ended up really finishing it. Yeah, I hear that a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had fun with it for a few hours. <laughs> no, it's not focused at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, according to the latest information, uh, Zanzibar's supposedly was armed with nuclear weapons. Uh, the whole scenario was crystal clear. By obtaining Oilix, in addition to nuclear weapons, uh, Zanzibarland was trying to establish its economic and uh, military superiority over the entire world. Yeah. Concerned about the situation, uh, the U.S. Uh, ordered Roy Campbell, commander-in-chief of high-tech spe high special forces unit Foxhound, uh, to rescue Dr. Marv Campbell. Oh, Dr. Marv period. Campbell was a former member of uh, Foxhound. He brought back Solid, uh, the men who single-handedly brought down the armed fortress nation of Outer Heaven four years prior. Uh, asked Solid uh, to bring back both Dr. Marv and Oilix, uh, successfully infiltrating Zanzibarland, and with the help of CIA agent Ooh, thought that was horny. Hori and others, <laughs> uh, Snake was able to go deep into the fortress, stop, and meet again with Dr. Petrovic. Uh, the chief engineer of Metal Gear. Is it supposed to be H-O-R-I? Like, the Japanese guy? Like, the company? Yeah. I don't know, because, like, early Metal Gear, they kept... They, they adhered to a lot of it, but I can imagine there's some of this kind of shit where it's like... They got George Lucas. They oh my god, you know idea. who the fuck this is? Holly? Holly, not... <gasps> Holly, that's right. This is a mistranslation. <laughs> You're playing on a greatest hits copy, right? Yeah. So they had a second pass to fix that. <laughs> and they fucking didn't. I was like, I don't because remember I don't anyone you... named Hori. 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 I'm not not even trying to be cute. That's actually what it is. Yeah. Uh, it really, really is. <laughs> he was, he was, he, he was too abducted. He too was abducted. Okay. To Zanzibar. Yo, he was man. way was too abducted, up. man. Shut the fuck up. It was forced to develop another Metal Gear. Okay. <laughs> Just imagine, like, a group of criminals. And, like, they're trying to, to plan, like, an abduction or a kidnapping. And, like, they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't abduct. We can't abduct too much. Like, come on. Can't do that. Can't do. Can't yeah. exaggerate our abduction. We gotta, like, you know, do it smooth. I don't know. He was way too abducted. Yeah, no, he'll get he'll get abducted poisoning. We can't abduct him too hard. Yeah. Uh, like, he told the surprised... Yeah. Mm, sorry. He 
told the surprise snake of an even more shocking fact. If I could stop belching for like eight tenths of a second. Uh, Big Boss, the man Snake had defeated at Outer Heaven, turned out to be the general commander of Zanzibar. Uh, Snake rescued Dr. Pajovic in cooperation with Natasha, Dr. Marv's guard, and former Czech international secret police agent. Holy shit, that's a long title. And then headed <laughs> uh, for, for the confinement facility deep in the fortress to save Dr. Marv. Uh, Yo, what Petrovic. up, Mauricio? Yeah, we're right now we're speed running the, the previous yeah. operation screen. That's a that's a stretch. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take. On... You've been reading for a long time. <laughs> oh yeah, you want to finish out because I did the top yeah, yeah, yeah. ten. You want to do the back ten? Okay. Yeah, yeah. When Petrovich and Natasha crossed the narrow suspension bridge over the deep valley, a missile blew the bridge away. Natasha flew into the air because of the explosion. While unable to do anything to save Natasha, Snake started hearing a well-known voice. Hey, Snake. We're good buddies, and I can let you go. Just leave this place at once. Gray Fox. Snake Ross saw Gray Fox controlling Metal Gear. <laughs> the best soldier in Foxhound, who after the fall of Outer Heaven disappeared as if he followed Big Boss. Losing Natasha in front of his eyes, and letting Petrovich get taken away, Snake screamed, Fox! I will not give up! Blah, 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 blah. That's, that's what he did. <laughs> he just, he convulsed? He just, yeah, he convulsed a little bit. After a yeah, series of, he's, you know, he's a chain smoker. Nobody was there, so, so it's, he, he, he just, he doesn't really bring it up. Cause, yeah. Yeah. After a series of deadly battles with mercenaries, <laughs> Snake finally made it to Dr. Marv's confinement facility. However, he arrived too late. He saw Dr. Marv's corpse and Petrovich, who could do nothing but just stand there. That's not fucking true. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> wait, they might reveal it. Petrovich told Snake that Dr. Marv could not withstand the repeated tortures because of heart problems. Snake then received an emergency call from Hori. The information she supplied was very shocking. Petrovich had been voluntarily visiting Zanzibar land to develop Metal Gear. The abduction of Dr. Marv was conducted under the directions of Petrovich himself. After the truth uh. came up, Petrovich attacked Snake, and you have to, in the game, you have to, like, actually, like, use a remote-controlled missile on himself. And, like, <laughs> it's great. I know, but it's, it's just, I, 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 I 107% knew where you were going with that. <laughs> I was like, you were, wait a second. You were, like, you were holding back an um, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were still oh. bursting at the seams to do it. Your finger was in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your glasses were pushed up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this boss fight's so fucking funny. In that game. Where he's, like, holding on to you and you're, like, using the remote control missile. Yeah, it's... Again, going back to, like, how Metal Gear 2 and 1 were just... Like, Golden Age comics, just fucking weird. And, yeah, like, yeah. how everyone explodes. Like, the dude mm -hmm. in the tall grass who you have to fuck with on the outside of yes. the first, particularly. <laughs> and, like, you shoot him with, like, one 9mm round, and he explodes. Like, in a red I love mist. it. Love it. After the truth came out, Petrovich attacked Snake, but Snake easily put an end to him. With, you know, the, the details I, I divulged. And obtained the structural plan of Oilix. While trying to escape, Snake was confronted by Metal Gear again, controlled by Gray Fox. The tremendous battle took place in the underground base. Now 500 floors beneath. <laughs> Snake finally succeeded in destroying Metal Gear. However, Gray Fox did not submit and challenged Snake to the final battle. In the midst of a minefield, Snake and Fox fought without any weapons. A fist-to-fist -fist duel involving no hatred or murderous intent. <laughs> I corrected it. <laughs> I corrected it on accident. During that weird moment of purity. So weird. <laughs> Those two were bound by forces, <laughs> transcending words and emotion. Snake won. This makes it sound like more like fucking earthbound in some of the language. <laughs> I don't know. Like you saying it, calling it a weird moment of purity. Just makes me think of like something Shigesato Itoi would write. Yeah, it does have kind of like a like a weird uh, touchy feely RPG writer with his journal. Yeah. yeah. Like a, he yeah. Or like I don't know if you ever played like the the, the mana games, 
like yeah. a quintet quintet like they're oddly uh oddly sentimental i don't know if that's the proper term for it but it's just like mm-hmm. uh you find that village of people who race snails and the snail yeah, race yeah, will yeah. take a person's whole life so as they bet on them it's like it, it just teaches you about the value of making decisions and how you're going to spend your time right you know yeah yeah snake won the battle but yeah snake won the tough but pure pure so pure against gray fox however there was still someone else snake had to fight big boss just like four years ago at outer heaven big boss was waiting for snake one who has experienced the tension of battle can never leave the battlefield i am the one giving you something to live for and that is war snake was infuriated at the arrogant big boss there is only one battle i have to fight to free myself from you to shatter the nightmare Big boss, I will kill you. With this, I just it's feel like I'm playing with action figures, you. man. <laughs> I just feel like I'm making up stories and 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 playing with action figures right now. Are you giving context for all of your GI Joes from different collections? Absolutely. Do you want to know something really charming? What? That was Kojima's uh fucking uh his basis for Snake Eater. Yeah. Was him uh, n- not only loving 60s Bond films, but as a kid, just fucking around in the woods behind his house. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, just playing Imagination and stuff. Yeah, like, I love the idea he was just back there with, like, paper dolls of fucking Gorbachev and JFK and shit. <laughs> that is fun. Yeah. With the structural plan of Oilix, Snake and Hori escaped from Zanzibar land. On a, on a rescue captor. Man, rescue helicopter. What really butters my biscuits is like they don't. It's not that like it's one instance of Hori. It's like fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Snake once again saved the world. There was no smile on his face. Big Boss's last words kept ringing in Snake's head. Oh, also they forgot the part where he revealed that he was his dad. Uh. But he didn't believe him at that time, so. Also, you know what's brutal as shit is like, you finished a uh, solid snake because you're, you've revealed that you know an extensive amount about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, like, like you basically make like a Zippo axe body spray combo and you get yes. like, that on fire. <laughs> yes. Like, that's grim as fuck. Like if that shit was rendered with a Fox engine, I'd be like, I don't think I would sleep. It it feels like that kind of. Just feels like a big '80s action movie ending, like Commando, where he like sticks the pipe through the guy. Yeah, well, I, I well now I can totally see that. But I was just saying, like for for an era of game that was like cartoony, that was like there's like spats of Solid Snake that are like grim. Like oh. <laughs> yeah, oh absolutely, yeah. It's like punctuated with like oh no, this is gross and real. Yeah, it's like a really interesting mix of tones. <laughs> I have to say. Who wins our battle Pack does not neck. end. Pack a neck brace. <laughs> the loser is freed from the battlefield, but the winner must remain there, and the survivor must live his life as a warrior until he dies. Snake then disappeared into the white lands of Alaska alone. Okay, we're not going to go through the briefing, even though it's beautiful, but... 